Patriot, SAMPT, David's sling systems can close the sky of Ukraine for Russian fighters. NATO's assistance in closing the skies over Ukraine can be introduced in several ways. The first option is to deploy Patriot launchers along the Polish, Romanian and Slovakian borders with Ukraine. If a Russian cruise missile or drone approaches, this system can hit the enemy target at a distance of 140 to 160 kilometers from the border. Aviation expert Kostiantin Krivolap explains to RBC Ukraine in detail how Western partners could help Ukraine defend its skies and what Patriot has to do with it. Do we have any problems with downing cruise missiles or shaheds? We shoot them down with a probability of 80 to 100%. We hit most of the targets and this figure is higher than the norms used in the calculation for NATO standards. Our main problem is protection against ballistics. If a certain area is not protected by Patriot, SAMPT or the Israeli David's sling system, these ballistic missiles will hit the targets. But unlike cruise missiles, the Patriot system has a shorter range against ballistic missiles up to 40 kilometers. In reality, this range is 25 to 30 kilometers. So, if we really cram the borderline with these Western systems, they will only be able to protect the Yavoriv test site from ballistic missiles. There are no other facilities in this area that can cover our partners' complexes. Neither Lviv, nor Strayi, nor Ivano-Frankivsk. Another option is for our partners to decide that they and their complexes are located on our territory and shoot down Russian missiles over our territory they will not shoot them down over Russian territory. It will be purely a defense and should not be seen as aggression against Russia. Besides, they can only protect civilian objects. Potentially Greece, for example, could provide its Patriot systems to protect Ukraine. They have seven such systems and one of them was transferred to Saudi Arabia for use. However, even the hit of a Russian missile near the prime minister while he was in Odessa did not affect his position. They believe that they need protection in case of a conflict with Turkey. On one hand, there are no technical obstacles to this decision, but on the other hand, it is a purely political decision that depends not on the Poles or Western partners, but on one person only, Joseph Biden. The Patriot system is an American-designed system, so it is only the United States that can authorize its use. Russians left dozens of potential naval targets in Crimea for attacks by the Ukraine. During 27 months of attacks on the Russian Black Sea Fleet in occupied Crimea, Ukraine sank or seriously damaged more than a dozen large warships, a full third of the fleet. Concerned about the losses, Russian naval commanders ordered the surviving ships to retreat and relocate to supposedly safer ports in southern Russia, Forbes writes. However, the invaders left behind dozens of smaller minesweepers, land craft and patrol boats off the coast of the occupied peninsula, the workhorses of daily operations around Crimea. Now the Ukrainian armed forces have turned their deadly attention to these smaller targets. The last attack was perhaps the most costly for what remained of the Black Sea Fleet in Crimea. Early in the morning of May the 30th, the Ukrainian naval strike force sent its Magura V-5 unmanned boats to Uzkaya Bay in the west of the peninsula. Russian planes tried to intercept the drones, but at least a few got through and reached the bay. Frightened Russian gunners opened fire, spraying tracers indiscriminately and not stopping the raid, the newspaper writes. As a result of this attack, two KS-701 boats sank and two more were damaged. As noted, this is a fifth of about 20 KS-701s. It is noteworthy that on the same day, the Ukrainian armed forces damaged two Russian ferries, the main mission of which is to transport goods through the Kirsch Strait to eastern Crimea. Although the destroyed KS-701s do not have heavy weapons, they are still useful as they were used for logistical support and patrolling the waters near the temporarily occupied peninsula. Journalists described the KS-701 as water vans for delivering goods from southern Russia to Crimea. They do not carry supplies but carry them the last few kilometers to their final destination. So while Ukrainian cruise missiles and ATACMS disrupt the main supply lines to Crimea, large landing ships ferries, bridges and railways, Ukrainian unmanned boats prey on delivery ships. Thus, Ukrainian forces are cutting off Russian logistics in Crimea on both sides. The publication concludes.